Karen Marshall. I am here outside Climax on Wall Street, and I'm talking to Kenny Roby, who is um, from the Triangle area, but in town today to launch his new album, Memories and Birds. It was just, it's just come out today, mm -hmm. and you're doing a CD release party at Grey Eagle, yep. and we're going to talk about the album a little bit. There's a man in the I thought that I knew. So one thing that I really noticed in listening to this is how um, how orchestrated it is, and I wondered if that was the original intent when you started writing the songs, or if maybe there was something simpler. Yeah, it, I think it was a little bit simpler. The, the first couple of songs that I had um, that I, that kind of pushed me into starting to make the record were Memories of Birds in Colorado. Um, in Colorado, it started off with just kind of a solo acoustic thing, but it didn't have like a singer-songwriter vibe. It kind of had a, like a first Neil Young kind of record kind of vibe, just, you know, um, just kind of dark and uh, alone. <laughs> alone more than solo. <laughs> oh, I'm tired being in love. It hurts too much when the one love ain't in love. I was really drawn in by the the emotionalism of the songs. Like I feel like you really put a lot out there, even though the the lyrics don't reveal a whole lot about you emotionally. I still wondered if it's kind of if it's ever difficult when you're in front of an audience or even just thinking of people unknown to you listening to this to to kind of have those those feelings and words out there. Um. You know, it's funny about this record. The songs really are about me, as you said, and they're about these characters. Um, there's some of me in them, obviously, um, but a lot of times I just feel like I'm kind of experiencing the song sometimes, like the audience is experiencing, and sometimes the songs affect me, like when I'm playing them live, you know, as if somebody else wrote them, or, or even more so, like as if someone else not only wrote them, but lived them, you know, like these characters, are like when you, you know, somewhat emotional watching a movie or something yeah. hits you and like kind of a, a dark undercurrent you know taps into something like in the back of your head and hard or deep in you you know that little slight twinge in the back of your back that you know makes you stand up you know yeah. it's a sensory thing almost yeah. Yeah. come back to the baby come back to me Come back to me and make it make three. I'm sure that um, some of the people watching this remember you from Six String Drag, and of course this album is, is quite a departure from the kind of sound that you had then. Um, I'm, just, I'm curious about how you feel like that and then your, your previous uh, band, The Lubricators, kind of um, how those two sounds sort of evolved That's a tough one. Um, <laughs> it's a long evolution, you know. I, yeah. you know, I was in the Lubricators when I was 15. Wow, that's so funny. yeah, I mean, and we were playing with like our p favorite punk rock bands, opening up for them to do a promoter, and you know, so uh, I kind of jumped right in. Um, so I'm 41 now, but, yeah, that's a long time. Um, if my math is correct. I've been doing this longer, a lot longer <laughs> than I haven't been doing it. <laughs> um, you know, I don't really think about the transitions. I think that's other people's kind of, it's kind of their job, you know, or they tend to a little bit more because, you know, it's like when you speak to someone and you say, you know when you said so and so, and they have no idea. Yeah. Because they've lived all that life and all those minutes and all those seconds put together and all that time that you haven't experienced. Yeah. You know, so things they've gone through emotion, they've gone through experience, they've gone through changes that that you don't necessarily see or pay attention to because you're going through your own experience. But the last thing you remember is that thing I said to you. You know what I mean? So so that's, with albums, they're pictures of that. You know, and so people are like, they're like, oh, it's been so long since you made a record or, or why isn't it like this and that? You know, why, uh, why did you decide to make a record this way as opposed to that way? And it's, you know, 
been an evolution there that nobody's paid attention to. It's personal a lot of times. Some people have seen parts of it. Yeah. Some people have seen those snapshots along the way. Some people have seven albums, seven snapshots, and that's all they get. A few live set shows oh, you're kind of throw me. I feel lucky that, that Asheville gets the, the official release yeah, day. Yeah, the show. release, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, why, why is it that you decided to do it, do it that way in a number of places? Well, a lot of the places I kind of were in the southeast this week, and I had a connection either with the other bands I was playing with or the venues or the towns, you know, more recently or in the past. Um, so it feels like they're all a little bit of a piece of home. Um, you know, Asheville, yeah. I just played at the Grey Eagle um, a few months ago, and then I opened for Citizen Cup in the work here. And, uh, and I've got friends that live here, and I've played here on and off for years. Um, and we're doing Greenville, South Carolina, which, you know, is close to Clemson where I grew up. Um, and the Handle Bar where I've, you know, played a bunch of times, so, you know, with my own band. Um, and then Charlotte, some of the guys playing, that were playing with the Temperance League, uh, David Kim and um, Sean Lynch played some on the new record and they played some on the Mercy Filter. So we're just kind of doing it all. And then Raleigh, yeah. of course, at Kings. Yeah. So it's all kind of a, you know, a yeah. bit of a homecoming, yeah. come back homecoming. Yeah, I like that. Well, Memories and Birds out today and uh, definitely check it out. This, this has truly been one of the most incredible discoveries for me. Um, Thank you lately. so much. I really, really appreciate it. I really enjoyed this, this album and I get these songs stuck in my head. So check Thank it you. out. Kenny Ruby. Thank you. Thanks. Don't sit under the apple tree. Anybody ask but me? Anybody ask but me? 